I thought I'd do a little bit of a rambling uh, review of the G-Kong or JK-8S BMS. This is the particular version that I've got. They've released these 8S BMSs uh, relatively recently. Uh, I like it. It's a, it's a nice BMS. Um, the only complaint that I've got is that the current readings are very inaccurate at low levels, low currents. Now, what I'm trying to do is integrate this BMS um, with an existing system that I use that is microcontroller based. So obviously what I'm very interested in is the, um, the serial port outputs. Okay, so I'll start with the serial port outputs. On this BMS, I ordered this BMS with um, a display module, which is there. Um, so that's the BMS leads itself that go to the uh, LFP batteries. That's the display module adapter. Um, this here, that's marked GPS. And this here is marked RS485. Um, both the RS-485 port and the display port essentially track back to these two chips which are um, they're the, the uh, RS-485 level converters I did write down somewhere what they're actually called um, I think they're YS30, y, YO3082s, I think they've got on them. And from there, roughly speaking, they go back to these, oop, these two ICs here. Okay, now those two ICs are Pi 122U31s, which are similar to the uh, Atom 1201, they're essentially galvanic isolators. Um, so what they do is they electronically isolate the rest of the board from your inputs here, which is a very, very, very good idea. And this is something that I don't see that often on these boards. So to me, it's an indicator of some quality. Um, I really like that. Um, from there, Obviously they go back to the ports. This is the main uh, um, microcontroller here. Okay, uh, which is an MM32F103, I believe. Uh, then you've got the buzzer there. You've got the super capacitors here. Um, I'm not too sure uh, what that is. I think that it looks like some sort of transformer. Um, Bavarian super guy who has a, a little bit of a review of a similar board um, uh, but it's in Bavarian German which even if you know a little bit of German is hard to understand but he talks about these MOSFETs I think he's not particularly impressed with the um, uh, the type of MOSFETs used and he's really not impressed with these wires between the MOSFETs he believes that they should be part of the board I don't know, I, I, I don't really understand the, the build of the board, but um, ultimately uh, they had to have a bit more high current carrying capacity, I guess that's what they're left with. Now, for some reason I can't get the, I can't get any output whatsoever out of this second isolator you can see I've chorried it up here because I've been directly soldering um, wires and serial port wires to it with my oscilloscope I can't get any output out of that at all um, because I've got the display model I'm definitely getting serial output at 9600 board out of that item there which then goes to the RS485 and then goes out to the display but that's useless to me because it doesn't actually accept any commands all that port is doing is repetitively outputting some readings um, for the display board there's no input there's only output and I haven't been able to um, work out exactly what the protocol is that it's outputting so what I'd dearly like to do is get that RS485 working um, I've 
check the chip. So I guess it's possible the chip might be faulty, but I've checked on the other side of the chip, on the input side of the chip, and there seems to be nothing coming out of that microcontroller. So what I'm thinking about is, um, I, I know the Bluetooth is working. So I'm thinking of um, teeing in directly to the TTL that feeds the Bluetooth. Now on this side of the board, that's obviously the Bluetooth um, module. That's a BK3432 based Bluetooth module. Uh, I've been able to found, find a, uh, uh, a de development board online, so I should be able to work out what the pinouts for that are. Um, over here, we have another one of those level, uh, sorry, the um, uh, galvanic isolators, the Pi 122U31s. Um, but there's another interesting thing that I found on this board. Um, these two here are 74HC5950s, which are 8-bit level shift converters, um, which indicate potentially that they're trying to get some more serial ports than the uh, microcontroller has. I don't know, maybe somebody can comment. Ah, another interesting thing here. I thought that I'd drop some solder there, but and see between I guess that that transistor um, I think that's a resistor and I think what they're doing there is they've just put that in as an afterthought they've sold it they've bridged it between that capacitor and that transistor um, I don't know what the go is there maybe it's a pull up it looks like that traces back through to in one of the microcontrollers so it's potentially a, uh, a pull up for some reason so that's obviously an error on the board that they've um, essentially backstopped or retrofitted with that resistor which is not an issue I mean that happens to me too when I'm developing new systems but back to the Bluetooth module yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to tee directly into that Bluetooth module. I can, through Bluetooth, I am getting some, de definitely the Bluetooth is working and I've got a Linux system, um, but it only has Bluetooth version, what is it? 2.1 or 4.1, I can't remember, but um, it's not a late enough version for me to properly decode the, um, the Bluetooth protocol because apparently the header can only take 20 bytes and it needs to take 60 or something along those lines. So my Raspberry Pi version 3B Plus doesn't have the right version of Bluetooth. I've tried a Linux laptop that I've got, neither does that. Um, so I've ordered an SP32, um, an ESP32 board uh, that has the right level of Bluetooth, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is try to tee into the TTL feeding this board and talk to it that way via TTL. Uh, yeah, that's basically an overview of this board. Uh, what I found out about it, if anybody's got any um, further information, I'd be interested. Oh yeah, these little resistors here, they'll be the measurement resistors, so they'll be the shunt resistors. Um, on the high side so they're they're what measures your current uh, essentially for the board so there you go I hope that is of some use to someone cheers